Well, teachers from across the state rallied in San Francisco today, all in support of Bay Area educators. Many say they are underpaid, understaffed, and underappreciated. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard has more now from today's rally in Union Square. San Francisco's a union town. Get up! Get down! Members of the California Federation of Teachers taking time from their annual conference to support educators in San Francisco. This is about United for Justice, United for Education. We are coming together to fight for that and to fight for our students and to fight for our members. Some employees at SFUSD and City College say they survived working during the pandemic inside some classrooms without heat. But pay remains the biggest issue for Leslie Hu. San Francisco is an incredibly um, expensive city to live in um, and we make you know, very low uh, wages here. Uh, we have some of our paraeducators who only make $17.50 an hour, which is very close to actually our state, our city minimum wage. Because we're all about labor. We think you should receive equal pay for equal work. So we support our brothers and sisters here in San Francisco. That's why we're all out here today. Union officials say San Francisco classrooms continue to be understaffed and payroll issues are still very much a problem. Some say it's a staffing crisis, but we say it's a manufactured crisis. A crisis of systemic underfunding and underpayment and a crisis of chronic disrespect. San Francisco Unified School District officials say last September they approved a 6% pay raise for teachers and paraeducators for the current school year. The union is now negotiating a multi-year contract with the district. Our district needs to make our, our, our educators whole. Across California, teachers are struggling, some choosing a different career path. Only 40% of our members said that they would tell family or friends to become an educator. And that's a sad story because they know how difficult it is. In San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.